Hey everybody, it's Charlie from Daily Motor, and today we've got the audio system demo of the 2021 Volkswagen Atlas. This is going to be an in-depth review. We're going to take a look at how the infotainment system works, look at a demo of Apple CarPlay and Android Auto on the system, listen to some sample tracks, get out on the road, listen to those tracks while we're rolling, and I'll give you my thoughts at the end. Before we get started, let's hop out and take a quick look at the car. This Atlas is refreshed for 2021. The big Volkswagen three-row SUV here in SEL trim. It's packing the 3.6 liter V6. It's a competent vehicle, if a little short on a few of the driving abilities. If you want to see more on the car, check the links in the description for our highway fuel economy test as well as our full review. Before we get in, let's count speaker grill locations in the Atlas. So this is a six speaker system. It's not the top level fender. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, and six. I had a little double take there because I saw these speaker grills, but they are most certainly not active. So they're just grills, they're not speakers. Just six speakers in here. Man, that beeping is loud. So we always do these tests with uncompressed lossless WAV audio files on a USB drive plugged directly into the system and high quality binaural microphones in both of my ears, giving you the most realistic audio system demo experience on YouTube. We also do the test with the sound settings set to their factory defaults. So we go into here and see in the sound, we've got bass, mid-range, and treble, as well as your standard front, rear, left, right, fader, and balance. So let's demo those now. Other than that, no other audio adjustments in the Atlas. For audio controls, you've got a nice volume knob here, good detents, easy to grab. You also have volume controls up and down on the left side of the steering wheel. For track selection, you've got a rotator knob that you can use right here, as well as touch screen buttons, previous and next on the media screen, and then on the wheel right here, front back on the right. For audio inputs in the Volkswagen Atlas, you have a whole smorgasbord. You have your standard AM, FM, Sirius, XM, satellite radio, Bluetooth, USB with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto support. You also have a 3.5 millimeter auxiliary input jack and a CD disc player in there, as well as two SD card slots. So you are loaded up. In the 2021 and a half model, the refresh that came out for the Atlas not long ago, they actually are including a USB type C port as well. So what are you missing in here? Nothing. I mean, yes, this one doesn't have a USB C port, but that's not a huge deal here in 2020. And they've already announced that the newer models will have those. Very nice on Volkswagen in that regard. So let's take a quick demo of Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. So first up, Android Auto, you go to app. You can see here, you have your standard display. Maps isn't gonna show us anything. Oh, actually it is. That's interesting. Even though, uh, okay. So yeah, you can see the maps right there. I didn't think it was going to show us anything. You go home, you get your uh, Google Play Music right here, even though that's going away soon, being replaced by YouTube Music. So it all works very fine. The touch sensitivity is nice. Well, let's yank that out. Swap it in for our Apple CarPlay. So as you can see, Apple CarPlay, a little more attractive. They managed to do a little bit of your phone screen background as the CarPlay background. I like both Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. They each have their pros and cons, but I will say CarPlay is a little bit more fluid and a little bit better of an interface. As you can see, everything works plenty fine there. You still get your clock. You still have a thermometer up there. Good and done. All right, let's hop in the back seat of the car. You guys like to see how the audio sounds in the back. So we'll do few seconds up here and then move to the back.
ground really isn't actually too bad back there. Might as well try the third row. Definitely a little quieter back here, a little bit more hollow. It makes sense considering all the speakers are up in front of us. All right, let's start the car up, get on the road. Engine starts right up without having to drop the music out. I like that. This is kind of neat. You'll notice those buttons down there are motion detecting. So as I put my hand up, they actually come up to full size buttons. I think it's kind of nifty. Frequent viewers of our channel know this song can really test the limits of an audio system. So let's hear how the bass six speaker handles it in the Atlas. really showcases the averageness of this system. Nothing really stands out. The highs aren't super crisp, the lows aren't super strong. And the frustrating thing is once you start really turning the sound up, it just sounds a little harsh on the ears. I've mentioned that in other reviews. If I'm listening to a really good system, I can tell I can turn the sound way up. I can hear all the instruments in their own channels and it sounds, it doesn't hurt my ears. It still sounds good unless I were to turn it up so loud that it's not being distorted, it just hurts my ears because it's so loud. This one kind of, the songs, all the instruments and sounds kind of meld together and just create a harsh sound on my ears. It's certainly not the worst I've heard, but rock music really starts to expose the weaknesses in the Atlas. This song should also bring out a weakness. Let's turn the bass all the way up. driving along you want to trust your sound settings and go oh okay settings right there I'll click that nope for your safety this menu is not available while driving huh so that requires me to actually instead of just pressing one button and being at my sound settings I have to press menu one swipe over to sound three so tell me how that is safer than letting me just press the settings button right on the audio screen silly choice
speaker system here in the VW Atlas. It's pretty darn average in terms of sound quality. I'm not expecting any miracles with six speakers, but it just is what it is. It, it makes fine enough noise for you to listen to your radio, listen to your talk, listen to average pop music, a little bit of rock, that sort of deal, but it's not gonna blow you away. Not too surprising considering it's the base system. When the Atlas really does excel is its touchscreen. The contrast is very good, the response rate's great, you got Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, and every single audio input you could possibly ask for. So that is really neat. So subjective, or objectively speaking, strictly audio quality, this car is a five. But when you factor in the great touchscreen, the responsiveness, how well everything works, and the inputs, and the audio controls, volume and everything, you're looking at about a six and a half, maybe even close to a seven. I'm really happy with Volkswagen going that route. Subjectively speaking, in this class for $45,000, definitely thinking of five holistically. There are just cars in this class that sound much better and still are pretty easy to use. So I hope you guys were able to get a good impression for the VW Atlas. If you want to see more, hit that subscribe button, check out our other Atlas content, and we'll see you on the next one. I'm Charlie from Daily Motor, and as always, drive on.